good morning. It's Monday. Uh, it's gloomy outside. More uh, spring rain today. Rain, spring rain. I'm like, what's the best thing I can say about this? The clouds are really poofy <laughs> and pretty, but there is no sunshine, at least not Can't yet. Can't even see the mountains. They're low hanging clouds. <laughs> there will be no video footage of the mountains today. We are headed out to the thrift store to find some items for resale, see what we can flip for a profit. Um, and we're gonna take you guys along with us. We're starting on Desert Industries in Riverton. Then we're gonna go up to Goodwill and another Desert Industries and hopefully get enough stuff in those three stores because it's Eliza's birthday today and we gotta get home and do some celebrating. We're here four minutes early and there's people in line. Looks like somebody's stretching, getting ready to do their thrifting. I already stretched, I'm ready. You're ready? It's cold, so I will not be waiting in line. I'll go save me a spot. You're gonna save me a spot? Yeah. Okay, but I'm not, until I see people moving, I'm not getting out of the car. That's all right, you might be on your own. It's fine. He's going in without me. <laughs> oh, look how cold and wet it is. Of course, I always gotta start in the dishes. Not seeing anything. Can't live without IKEA. Also. Oh, just kidding. Gotta have these. Look how cute they are. Delft mugs. I'm hoping I find some more Delft because sometimes you like find a couple and then the rest are here somewhere else. Looking at the vases. Oh, that one looks like they painted it. That's not very good. I was hoping that was like solid cobalt blue, but it is not. This is a cute little planter and I need to buy some more like mid-sized planters because I have like a pothos and a couple other plants I bought for the shop. I don't know if this is big enough for any of them, but it's cute. Oh, they've reorganized in the yard. They got the electronics and lamps on this side. I actually like it, but now I got to go find all the other stuff I used to thrift right here. The totes and things, this is what I was getting. We're good on frames. I'm not even going to look today. Lots of chairs. I don't think we need any of those either. Although I'm tempted to get that mower. Here we go. No totes today. How you doing, Albert? Oh, never mind. There is one tote. Is that a PVC handle? It is. I think we can still work with that for $2. Now here's what I came thrifting for today. I knew this was going to be here. I could sense it. 50 bucks? Does it work? Well, I mean, I made it. But does it count the shots made? Is the question. Do we need some new tennis balls for the dogs? We might. All the camping gear's out. They found all the backpacking stuff and the chairs in the back. So I know Easter was uh, yesterday, but this is so cute. I want it for next year, <laughs> so I'm going to buy it. I don't know, it's probably like a buck. Also, oh, this one has a bunch of chips. But I could paint her. Do I want to buy a bunny that I can paint for next year? How much is she? If she's, on, if she's a dollar, I'll buy her. Oh, she's two. I should have said if she was two dollars, I'd buy her. Oh, this is a vintage cookie crock. It's three dollars. It has a couple of chips. I hope that, hold on, let me make sure I can take the tape off without pulling off the paint. So that's good. It's really cute. I'm gonna get it. I can't believe that passed on that. It's like stoneware. That's cool. Found this for $1.50. I love painting these. And planting season is coming. This would be so cute with an herb garden. Albert wants to be on the channel. Say hi. <laughs> Albert happens to be our favorite Riverton employee. Don't tell the rest of them. Seriously, a hand-painted box. You might overlook this, probably spray-painted, but handmade for $8. Now I have to put back all the toys. I'll move this one here. Rearrange the toy section. There we go. So this couch is pretty cool. I don't think we need it or have any place for it. And that one is also cool. They have some good stuff here today. That's like the back on this one. Let me see if I can stand back and show you guys. Over here in the blankets and linens and textiles, 
I thought this was going to be scratchy, but it's so soft. It's got this sparkly, almost like tinsel in it. I don't know. I'm on the fence because of this sparkly, I don't know, they like put like this one thread of sparkly tinsel looking stuff in there. But from here you can't even see it and it looks awesome. Oh, there's a rolling pin. I wonder if Jamie passed this up or she skipped it because it looks like it needs a little bit of repair. It's a little wobbly here. For a dollar, I'm willing to uh, glue that back in. I think I can handle that repair. It is older. All right, so only one cart full. I think we got like 10 items at this thrift store and I got some tennis balls for the dogs and we spent $23.50, which I think is the least we've ever gotten out of this thrift store. But, and $8 of that was Jamie's big toy box. So we were loading it up and what happened? The toy box broke and it needs a little repair. It's fine, I got a guy. <laughs> All right, Goodwill doesn't open until 10, so we are headed across the street to the Desert Industries thrift store. This is kind of, sometimes if we're running later, we do Goodwill second, and then Desert Industries thrift store third, but because we were so early, it's only 9.39, I don't know if you can even see that, there we go, 9.39, we make the best use of our time going to this thrift store and then going to, oh, we, we might be even done by like 10.30. Yeah, then I gotta hurry home and make crepes for Eliza. Ooh, crepes, I forgot about that. All right, so we've got carts out, which is exciting. It means there's some new stuff. Some hanging planters, $2 each. Do we need these? I think so. This is really pretty for a dollar. You guys see it's kind of like etched. It's like a whole little army of music bus. They're $2 each. They paint up really cute. I think I'm gonna grab them. A long time ago, I bought a bunch of these, but I'm going to grab this one because Mother's, Mother's Day is coming. It's only $2. It's like a vintage little world's greatest mom. Look how cute she is making some something yummy to eat. I probably should stop buying platters, but I can't stop. Homer Laughlin, $2. Scalloped Edge, roses. Yes, that's going to have to come home with me. Little bowl. Oh, it's got a big crack and a bunch of chips. All right. Oh no, that's not a crack. That's just, that's just a hair. Oh, Two dollars. It's not marked. Maybe I'll pass on that one. This is cool. Planter for three dollars. They switched this one around too. Usually the frames and pictures are all right here and today they're over there. They're trying to throw me off. It's like a new after Easter spring cleanup or something. Kind of like that big basket. We're gonna go see how broken up that is. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're real flimsy. This one has big dowels in the corner. It looks like it just doesn't close good. Right now it closes all right, you just gotta pull on them a little bit. Eight dollars. The Sunburst snack set. Oh, this is heavy, like a uh, plaster or uh, it might even be terracotta. Oh, yep, terracotta. It's very thick. Three bucks. I'm going to do it. Should have brought my black light today. Is this just painted? Looks like, oh, yep, that's just painted. Here's a crown pottery's plate for $3. A couple of imperfections, a little chip, but it's really pretty. $3 is kind of, I don't know this brand that well, but I think I'm gonna grab it because I actually really like the pattern. Maybe I can find more. Oh my gosh, my grandma bought me one of these when I was a little girl. The handmade cabbage patch, like I think, and look at this dress. I swear I had a bunch of stuff with this little rose pattern. It's so cute. Do I buy it? I've never sold Cabbage Patch dolls. I don't know how much she is. Oh, she's cute. Okay, we moved on to dishes. I found this cute little silver platter. It says Derby Silver Co. 746. It's really cute. And then a little Homer Laughlin creamer. 
look at that. I'm gonna check this out. Like, can you guys see? I always like to search the dishes. I'm always looking for pretty edges. And it did not disappoint. Mean red dinnerware underglaze. Red transferware. I almost never find red transferware. I looked all over England for it, couldn't find it. So I think this is real copper and these are sprayed on copper. It's a little much for those $6 for those two small ones to not be real copper, but this is $2 and then it's got a tag down here for one. That tag looks like it's a lot older, so this is probably the actual price. It's probably thrifted twice and then redonated. So, it's real wood. The metal top on it looked like it was brass at one point. For two bucks though, it's solidly made. We'll get it. Looks like a couple little wood easels. A little countertop or desktop or tabletop, whatever you want to call them. 75 cents. And the bigger one back here, also 75 cents. I bet you I have frames at home that'll work in both of these. So they just brought out a new cart. And on the bottom of the cart, there was a Hummel mold. It's Gobel. Um, 1989. Signed 93. That's probably one of the coolest things I found in a while. And then a bunny plate and a frame. This is only $1.50. It's like all star cow bug. It's hilarious. I gotta get this. Here's a pretty glass dish. I like the detail on the back of that. It has a ridge. I wonder if it like had something that goes with it. I'm gonna pass on that. Gotta be selective because I do have a lot of glassware, but some stuff sells so well, so I have to cautiously think about it. That's cool. I wonder if there's more than one. This is hand cut crystal. So I found this over there. I think it's just pressed, it's not cut, but it is crystal. So we're gonna grab this one too. Yeah, that's cute. And I like look the. And see if there's any the hidden lid. maker mark like you can find some. Oh, sometimes. on the bottom you look for a Waterford. Well, I'll take the tape off of it when we get home. Okay. This is interesting to me. This has, is this plastic or? Oh, it's plastic. If this would have been glass. That would have been cool. I was like, this is the glass section, so I wasn't expecting plastic. Look at these tiny little. I know they got grapes on them, but they're just fun. Zeb, you're so funny. You know, those would actually be really cute if you wanted to make candles out of them, but you'd have to actually make candles. Maybe I'll put a kid that wants to earn some extra money in charge of that. Well, we have those wax melts from Antique Candle Company, and you can melt them and make your candle in it just about anything. But you'd have to order some cotton wicks, so you would be in charge of that. Mm, all right. Rusty black enamel pitcher back here. I think that's authentic rust and not faux rust. $2. This thing is just begging to be planted with a fun plant. Oh, you could even hang that. That would be fun. Here's another one. This one is $2 and this one is not original rust. But same story, you paint this up, put an ironwork and design transfer or something on there for $2. This looks like a wreath hanger, not a stocking hanger. I like that one a lot. Oh, what do we have here? Someone sprayed them gold. $2, $2. We haven't been finding a ton of stuff and I know we've been slowing our roll on candlesticks. The after Easter or the pre-Easter donations they said have been kind of slow. People were not donating on Saturday like they normally do. So maybe there'll be a lot of stuff tomorrow or next weekend. All right, so I'm gonna leave these ones here. Well, what about this one? And we're gonna do these ones with the roses on them. I like this one here. Okay. Oh, let me see if we can find. Oh, we have to get the butter dish. That's actually a good one. That's cool. That's two bucks. Two bucks. And then I found this juice reamer. This one's cool. Here's some little Homer Lop one plates. Did you see this one I like creamer? the pattern. Ooh, look at that creamer. What? Look at this creamer. That creamer is cute. I'm over here getting my own creamers. <laughs> I We always like to buy vintage games and I sp feel like I specifically have to buy this one because that picture is everything. A family fun game of memory and strategy chaos. And it looks like 
Everything's here because there's a game board and then all the pieces. Seriously, somebody with a ton of Homer Apple. This is like uh, best China. This is heavy, this platter. Only $2. And somebody with a ton of good stuff donated. Well, look at all these ties they got set up here. Look at these big old thick vintage like polyester ties. I really like this one. Anything special. What are those? Like little casserole dishes, but this is haul. Well, that one is different than those other ones. Yeah, and then this one is $2. It's oven proof. Well, this one is cool. So... Made in Japan. Is it stoneware? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so, but it's got a little crack oh. on the bottom. But I really like this just simple haul like almost like iron stone. So I don't often go looking for silverware that's actually silver, but this is Rogers Brothers 1847 reflection pattern. And they've got a bunch of it in here. So I think I'm just gonna grab it and see what we get. Yeah, and that's all in the regular silverware. So that's like 25 cents a piece. Yeah. I told you we had to keep digging here because, like, I was going to pass on this, but I just realized that's, like, older Homer Laughlin. And I like the embossed. It does have, like, a crack in it, but it's not coming apart all the way yet. And I just, it's pretty. So I'm getting this even though it's two bucks and cracked. I'm on the fence. There's this cake plate in here. It looks like it's just pressed. It doesn't look cut. I don't know if it's crystal or not. It kind of looks like it could be crystally. If it is, I will get it for $15. If not, I'm not 100%. So I found this hand-pieced pillowcase. Looks like there's just the one. All under home fashions. Oh, I guess it's mass-produced. I might get it anyways. I think it's cute. I like all the floral. So I passed this car earlier and didn't stop, and I found this little bowl. 75 cents. I don't recognize the brand, but it's really cute. And this old doll, probably from the 70s, Ideal Toy Company, and her hair grows. And then I found a, this cute little basket thing, and inside of it, there's carrot mugs. Look how cute those are. Three bucks for all four. I know it's the wrong season, but I think I'm also going to grab this for $2. Zeb loves these for Thanksgiving. I can just touch that up a little bit there. And I almost missed another rolling pin for $1.50. Cute. So I found this precious little print for a dollar. I think it's just like an old uh, article. So I think if I just paint this frame, maybe one of the colors that's inside, this will look really good. And then I need to fix the matting because this it slid over a little bit. So I just need to tape that in place. This looks like a vintage Mod Podge project, but I really like it for $2. It's solid wood, definitely homemade. I'm gonna get it. I'm glad I didn't leave yet. Zeb told me to leave, but look, two more Franciscan bowls that match my other bowl, and they're bigger. Zeb says my time's up, but I found this mid-century modern soup tureen. I wish it had the lid, but it's only three dollars, so I'm glad I I'm glad I found that. I really am going now. So I went back to get Zeb's cake plate and bowl, and I found three more things. He's going to wonder what took me so long in line, but I couldn't pass it. These are heavy, tarnished silver. We could put pretty little prints in them, and then I love this shape in that frame. So this thrift store was good. Jamie's got like a three-quarters full cart. I've got this cart that I'm going to unload. This was the first thrift store. We got this fun toy box and like five or six other things. Not much, but we hit the mother load at this one. She had to go back and grab our collectibles. It took her a minute. Did you buy something else? Oh, you found something else? How did you know? Because <laughs> you were gone a long time. I was, I was back just here. a few extra minutes. Look at that frame. Oh, that's cute. And then a couple of, uh, they're like silver stocking holders with pictures. Nice. Well, you can put pictures in. Oh, man, that. I only spent $4.50. Oh, okay. Well, I, how much did I spend? Well, how much did we spend on the first run? 140 You had the receipt, so I couldn't look at it. something. I don't know. It's in the uh, Worth it. So we probably spent like 150 which makes up for the 20 something dollars. So we're about 175 right now on the day. But lots of dishes. Did you put the Hummel thing in there very carefully? Do you know where that's it's at? It's all wrapped up real okay. good. Just prayed they did a good job. They did. So we spent an hour at the last store. We were going to be quick and take like five minutes. And there was just like so many fun little things loaded up on the shelves there. 
we just kept digging. It was actually really fun. It was like a really great little treasure hunt over there today. Digging for goodies, like just, yeah. It, it, there was a lot of stuff I found on the bottom shelf or like I found the one bowl and then I found two matching bowls somewhere else. So, and every time I was like, oh, I'm, I'm done in this aisle. Then I'd skirt back through the aisle and find a few more things. And when you have days like that, you just, you just got to keep going because that was a gold mine and the next thrift store is not a promise. You never know what you're going to find. So if you find a honey hole, you just dig till all the honey is gone. Well, it's like that first thrift store today. We didn't, we got like eight or nine things out of there. Well, and usually we find so much at Riverton. So yeah. this thrift store had, they had the good stuff. Cool. All right, we're coming into Goodwill. I always want to come here on Fridays because they have homemade tortillas at Lucky's on Fridays. What? Really? But we're never here on Friday. I know. Do they do corn ones too? I don't know. Just flour. So no, none for you. I'll make you tortillas though. All right, let's go into Goodwill and see what they have. Can you see that the, the rain is drying up? The sun has come out. It's supposed to be in the 70s by the weekend. 70s? Yeah, 70 on like Thursday or Friday. Oh, I'm getting a tan this weekend. <laughs> so we're going to share a cart here. What is this? Is it like for gravy? Maybe it's like a blender bottle. You shake it. It's like three ninety nine. It's, old, it's old not old. that old. It's got a modern sticker on it. All right. Well, if you know what that is, let me know. I'm gonna leave it behind me because I don't think I need it. This looks like a hand turned piece of pottery. Three ninety nine. That's cool. I love these bowls. I think I have more of this set. In the shop two ninety nine each. A dollar ninety nine for two. So I'm gonna grab all of them. I'm gonna do a quick peruse of the tops. All these little collectibles, they're dwindling down. It's been a couple weeks since we've been here. They used to have like 30 of these. It looks like they're down to about 20 bells. Oh, I think that's by a clock. Can you guys see it right there? So we got a couple cool clocks here. I really like the face on that one. Made in Germany. Is this plastic though? Yeah, that's plastic. It's not brass. This side's kind of fun, but the face is crooked. I wonder if we could just put a new face on it. Maybe do some iron orchid designs, like a transfer or even an inlay. One of their paint inlays. I think this is upside down. It looks like it's cast iron, but I picked it up and I think it's lighter than that. But... We're gonna pick that up. It's like magazine rack, or also probably could be used for uh, fire pokers, things like that. I love a good divided tray. I got too much in my hand. I can't pick it up and see what price it is right now. Look at that, I'm carrying all this around. I gotta get back to the cart with Jamie. 3 dollars I'll take it. <gasps> Look at that. I think that's pretty good. Ooh, look at that. That's a good day for like actual vintage hands. That is a giant window. I don't need it though, because I have so many, but that is cool. It's nine panes. Are any of them cracked? Because if none of them are cracked, I might, yeah, I'm going to snag this. I'll take that vinyl off. Stuff Zeb's holding Jamie's all my body. things. I need him to help me dig out all the stuff here today. Okay, uh, I found this and I asked Zeb to dig it out for me. I usually don't buy the large ones, but I love the print. And I just want to paint the frame. Look, what, look at Jamie over here. It, the colors are so good. I wonder if it'll fit in my boho corner. Maybe. We'll paint the frame like a really bright color to match what's in here. We've probably, this looks like his garden. In, yeah, yeah, it, it is. Gaverni. Yeah, we've been, we've been there. I've seen that <laughs> in real life. That is really cool. This one's only $2.99. We're gonna vote it as a lap afghan. Lots of fun colors in that one. I'm like seriously dancing in here because there's so much good stuff. I can't with it. Look how cute these are. In case anybody's wondering, this is my junk dance. I don't know if this is an ornament or what, but these are precious. Oh, it's two ornaments. I think they're pewter. So, um, yes, please. 1994, 299. <laughs> so cute. So it just comes walking down with this majestic Afghan. That probably is the coolest thing that we found. I know. That beats my octopus that I just found for 299. <laughs> <laughs> 
But we gotta hurry because Eliza just called me. She wants crepes. So just one more aisle. All right. Hello. Is that coffee? Yes, and it's heavy. It's got like oh, a weighted wow. bottom for three ninety nine. Yeah, that's coming home with me. Zeb was gonna pass on this quilt, but I think it's cute. It's mass produced, but it's really cute and it's six bucks. It's worth it. We're headed out. I thought this was just a Santa statue, but it's a pitcher and it's Fitz and Floyd. It's got a couple of small chips. <gasps> oh, sad day. It's got one big piece of bow missing. Shoot. All right, bye Santa. So this is problematic. This is what happens when you've spent over $300. I think we're at like $350. <laughs> oh, this is so much stuff. And I have to photograph this. That's the problem is I love buying and then I go home and I'm like, oh, I'm going to be spending a few hours listing stuff on the website. <laughs> It's safe to say that we uh, hit the mother load today. Um, we did. I don't even know how we're gonna thrift anymore this week, but I promise you we will be. Uh, Zeb's gonna slow pan everything so that way you can see it, and we will have everything listed for Saturday night thrift haul. This is like when we say mega hit haul, like mega. We had two carts at Goodwill. Well, we've been pretty picky, so it's been a while since we've had two, three, four carts spent over three hundred dollars in any one shopping spree that we go on. We usually hit three or four stores. And we had several full cart situations today. Seb was literally laughing at me, dancing in the Goodwill, but they were playing like Backstreet Boys, like all my jams from high school, and there was good junk. I couldn't fight the beat. If you guys like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode. Yeah.